What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today I'm bringing some more packs back to the channel. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video yesterday. It hasn't just seen as much love as I thought it may have, so it's all good. We're bringing back the packs, but today I've got myself nine random packs of Footy Stars 2023, as I like to do uh, with all the new subscribers who may have come from the Footy Stars case break or any of the Footy Stars box breaks that we've done over the last few days, weeks even. Um, this is our weekly nine packs of Footy Stars video. Uh, I'm going to try and do this at least once every week, opening nine of these ones up. Obviously, the same will happen once team coaches around, and uh, I do still have hobby boxes that I can go through for the next month, maybe two months. Uh, I can manage to get weekly videos out with those ones as well. So, if you guys are looking for uh, pack opening content throughout the entire AFL season, then I've got your back. I'm always here for you. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But I like to start off my videos when I have the chance with a bit of mail. So today I have a really nice piece of mail. Uh, I think it's just a very nice little addition to my collection because it completes a set that I have been really looking forward to completing. Something I couldn't do last year and I've managed to do it within the first week of the year. So this is uh, something that I found out uh, very recently, pretty much as soon as I finished recording one of my videos. Uh, Footy Stars Hobby Box Break number two. We managed to pull a lot of big things in that box, including this card right here, my Spectrum Redemption number two for North Melbourne, numbered 25. Now, this card in itself has happened before. However, there's only two redemptions this year, meaning I just needed to find the other one wherever that would have been uh, for the right price, maybe the right card, who knows? And I think I've managed to do that. But right after I finished recording that video, I found online this card and I've just got to show you what it is because I think it's very, very funny that I managed to find this right after I filmed the video. But you can see here, we've got Spectrum Redemption number one for North Melbourne. Look at that, beautiful stuff. So now we've completed the collection, Spectre Redemption 1 and Spectre Redemption 2. But uh, here's the funny thing about this. It's also number 25. I couldn't believe it when I saw this, but I now have the both 25 numbered cards. Um, I just saw that this one was being sold by a seller um, known as Giddy Up Cards. Um, I checked out their site. I'm like, oh, it's, not, it's $80. It probably could find a better one. But the reason I bought it, it's the same number as the one that I pulled. And I found it literally after I finished recording the video. And so I'm like, yeah, I got it. I may as well pull the trigger right now. So I've got both the tw number 25 Spectrum Redemption cards, which is just kind of cool. I think it's kind of convenient at the same time. But nonetheless, when these are available to redeem, which I'm not sure when, I'll have both uh, the 25 Redemptions, which is pretty cool. I thought it would just be it would just be nice to show off here um, It's definitely not something that happens every day where you can find the same spectrum redemption number um, And use it to get both sets. I think it's pretty cool But that completes my spectrum redemption collection for the year, which is really really cool I'm super happy with that didn't really go after it last year There was five of them and I just wasn't in the mood to try and collect all five spectrum redemptions But considering there's two I pulled one of them already and they're the same number I think that's a really, really good way to start the year. But let's get into our nine packs of footy stars. I know you guys are keen. This is from a random box. Um, I do not have any more boxes of footy stars available. So I went down to the news agency and picked up nine packs. So I'm interested to see whether there's actually anything in these ones, whether we'll find anything or whether it's just going to be a lot of inserts. But that's also why I like to add the little extras at the start of the video because then it gives us something to enjoy, even if we don't manage to pull anything. And uh, let's just hope that maybe today we can pull something nice along with it all. But we're starting this one off with a James Sicily, a Taylor Adams, a Stephen May, a Nick Blakey. And our insert is not here yet. Paddy Cripps. And it's a silver. We got ourselves a Jack McRae silver card. But you know, like I said, it's not guaranteed that we'll pull anything. Obviously, it is nine random packs. There are only three hits in every box of footy stars, and when they have to spread it over 36 packs, it means that the odds of pulling something big are kind of low. But we still work hard. We still try our best to see whether we can pull anything nice, and if we do so, it's just an added bonus. We've got Dom Sheed here, and we've got Isaac Heaney, Lockie Whitfield, Hugh McCluggage, and we've got ourselves an Andy Brayshaw essential. I've been really working hard to uh, complete my collection in total for my regular Footy Stars inserts. Uh, I've got my album put together, which I will be doing an album update sometime soon. I'm not sure of an exact date just yet, especially with Team Coach out tomorrow. The official release date changed from the 20th. They were telling everyone the 20th. 
um, on Instagram, and now it's been switched up to the 23rd. I'm not too sure why. However, I'm going to be out and about tomorrow looking at my local news agency, seeing if they've got their um, team coach cards in on the 23rd. So it's going to be a good day tomorrow, but we've got Mitch Lewis to start, Dana Hooker, Scott Bendelbridge, Jack Viney, Dane Rampy, and we've got another silver here. We've got ourselves Cam Guthrie. Still looking for those two silvers. If you know those two silvers, then you've been watching my videos very closely. Very, very closely. And I appreciate that. Again, be sure to watch all my Footy Stars 2023 videos. Trust me, if you haven't seen anything just yet on the channel and you are looking for more stuff from Footy Stars and are looking forward to your team coach content, this is the channel to subscribe to. Trust me, it will be good fun. We'll be having a lot of fun over these next few weeks. And I've got a lot of ideas that I'm hoping to bring some other YouTubers into. We'll see what happens, but nonetheless, we've got to enjoy the small moments here and there. We've got James Warple, uh, Andrew Gaff, Elise Parker. Oh, nice! A North Melbourne in insert. We've got AFL Milestone, Hugh Greenwood. I don't think I have this one. 100 games, Hugh Greenwood. I don't remember it. I'll have to check my album afterwards, but... Could be a nice little added one. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. We got five packs left. Oh man. And like I said before, unfortunately my video um, talking about North Melbourne yesterday didn't do as well as I, as I was hoping. To the people who did watch it, I appreciate it very, very much. But I may do it once more depending on how it goes. It could just be a once in every now and then thing. But I just tried it out. See, Went to see if you guys enjoyed it. And obviously North Melbourne aren't the biggest team right now. So it kind of makes sense. I know reasons why people don't necessarily watch it all the time. But... We'll see how it goes in the future. We've got Andrew McGrath, uh, Angus Brayshaw, Jack Crisp, and another silver. It's Nick Haynes. Oh, Nick Haynes in round one. Really impressive. If you guys saw that game, GWS versus Adelaide, it was a very low-key game. Not too many people watched it, but a very impressive game if you did manage to see it. The, the amount of players who had to pull up because they were cramping. Nick Haynes probably got the worst of it. This dude was working so hard. He was cramping up in the third quarter. And it was just hard to watch at times because just like the the amount of pressure that could be played and the amount of skills that were on display were just very, very low. Uh, purely because everyone kept pulling up with cramps. And Nick Haynes couldn't even run. And with 10 minutes left in the game or about that much, he got a mark inside 50, looked around and no one was available for him to hand it off. So he had to kick a goal. Absolutely cramping up. And he managed to kick it. It was unreal. I definitely would recommend looking at the highlights for that one. But we got Hind and Emma Swanson. Steel side bottom. Got Will Day. And it's looking like another silver. A Nick Boston silver card. Three more packs. It would be nice to see something come through in these last three packs. But again, the likelihoods of pulling... The likelihood, sorry, of pulling anything in these Footy Stars packs this year have actually decreased. And uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but at the same time, they just took out the box hit instant win. That's all they really did. Everything else is still in there. Everything else is still fine. I'm just hopeful that we can manage to make the most of the packs we do buy this year. We've got Mimi Hill, uh, Josh Dacos, Alicia Newman, uh, Christian Salem, and it's another silver. Bradley Hill. Lots of silvers in this pack opening. I'm not too happy with that. I would like to see some better cards. Uh, I do have almost all the silvers. It's just two that I need. Chera and Kelly. So I'm hoping maybe at the very least we find some more new inserts. If we can't pull anything big. Because it would be a little disappointing. As it looks like we do have something here. I'm real. I'm okay. Maybe we don't. No. I think I'm maybe. Yeah. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. We got Zach Merritt. Lockie Neal. Sam Doherty, Jess Duffin, Josh Kelly, and it's Kate Luckin's mascots uh, for the Brisbane Lions. Yeah, I didn't realize that this was going to be mascots. Like, if you remember very recently, I said when you pull an acetate card, it has like that black line. I thought I saw it. No, it was just the side of the mascots card. I'm getting baited by everything nowadays, but last pack, last chance at pulling something nice for today. Would be really, really cool if you could do me nicely here to finish this one off, please select. Uh, we've got Nick Haynes, uh, Dane Zorko, Bonnie Too Good, Charlie Kerno, and no, we're going to get a Nick Natanui Essentials card. Like I said, though, this is going to be a lot more expected with Footy Stars now, these uh, packs where we're not pulling too much good stuff because, again, you only expected the three hits in a box. There are some boxes that only have two. Uh, which we found out in the case break. The fact that only three packs, an entire box, has something like a box hit or higher. Little disappointing. It is a little disappointing, but it's okay. We work with what we've got. I think we've got some new stuff in this pile of inserts as well, so we're okay. Plus, 
the main thing for today, it turns out, is this awesome addition to the collection, this number one Spectre Redemption, turning it into a complete set of 25, which is pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. But uh, nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like this in the future, which will definitely be happening, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video as well. As I, as I mentioned, it's all very, very much appreciated. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.